Welcome back to another episode of What Should I Get Pierced? My name is Scott Wilkinson. I'm a professional body piercer and have been since 1994. Now on the show, we're gonna take a look at six people's faces and their ears. I'm gonna tell you what would be good possibilities for piercings and ultimately what I think would look best. Now the first person we have to look at today is going to be Dominic. So let's take a look at Dominic's face. Now, right away when we look at Dominic, you can see there's a couple earlobe piercings. It's kind of hard to see that one back there, but it is back there. Um, what I would like to add would be something around the mouth area. Like, I could totally see a Medusa piercing. Medusa piercing will look really cool, as well as some sort of lower lip piercing. Whether it's a, like a normal labret piercing, or add those snake bites off to the side, just like that. Um, haven't seen the triple lip piercing in a while, maybe it's time to bring that back. Now, another option would be a septum piercing if you didn't go with a Medusa. Um, something centrally located like that is a great way to start more piercings. Now, a couple more options here would be a Ashley piercing, which is in the center of the bottom lip. You could get a nice forward-facing shape or gem right there. Or possibly angel bites just above the mustache there. Now, my ultimate pick, I would have to go with Medusa and a Labrette. Let's take a look at his ear. Now looking at the ear, first thing I'm gonna notice is going to be the tragus. Oh, well, that's nice and pronounced, as well as the anti-tragus right next to it. You can see how that would be a perfect orbital if you wanted to do an orbital piercing there. Um, another option would be just a regular tragus piercing or the regular anti-tragus. Possibly connect him in the future if you can get him to heal upright. Now, some other fun options here would be a rook piercing. The rook is very pronounced, and you'd be able to get a nice curved barbell in there. I could also see some helix piercings. You got a nice flat ridge all the way up there. You could add maybe one, two, three, maybe even four piercings all the way up the ear. Doth piercing would be a great option. Nice and pronounced, putting a nice ring in there. Maybe put a clicker in once it's healed up. Last option would be that conch. Tons of room for a conch, conch cluster, fun jewelry options. Now, my ultimate pick, triple helix and a tragus. The next person we're going to be looking at today is Genevieve. Now, I don't see any visible piercing, so let's get started. First thing I would like to do would be something in the center of her face here, probably a septum piercing or the Medusa. Either one would look really nice. I can also see some spider bites on the side, as well as high nostrils. Getting them nice and high up there would look really cute. I can also see some Dahlia piercings just on the corners of her mouth. And as you look at this area, you can see a nice ridge right on the bottom, which is telling me a gestrum piercing would be amazing. You see how that lines up perfectly. Now, as far as my ultimate picks, I would have to go with that gestrum and some high nostrils. Let's take a look at her ear. Again, I don't really see any, eh, maybe an earlobe piercing right there. But other than that, I don't really see anything. Um, immediately, I could see a doth piercing. Doth piercing would be beautiful. You could see that whole ring. It would be amazing. Um, as you can see, her tragus isn't very pronounced. Might want to stay away from that. But with this ridge here, um, and how close that is, maybe a conch piercing. So you can do a single piercing with a stud, and when it heals up, the ring all the way around that conch. Also could see a rook piercing. Plenty of ridge for that rook. And also, you can see this whole flat area uh, could have a piercing up there. So maybe something in the center or adding the three, kind of going up that ridge, just like so. There's always lots of possibilities for studs going down her ear and even down into some more earlobe. So lots of fun options. Um, as far as my ultimate choice, I would have to go with a flat and a conch. 
And before we go on to the next person, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe. It really helps us out a lot. The next person we're looking at is Jennifer. So when we look at Jennifer, already lots of piercings to start off with. You can see the septum piercing, a bunch of ears. Um, now, as far as adding more, I could totally see a Monroe. I'm not sure if we want to go left or right hand side, but I could see a Monroe piercing and counterbalance it with maybe some spider bites or we could even do some dolphin bites kind of in the center. Um, so as far as other piercings, I could see a possible bridge, to, if you had the proper anatomy, of course, and horizontal eyebrows, just like so. Possibly symmetrical, just on each side like that. Now, as far as my ultimate picks, I would have to go with horizontal eyebrows, and the dolphin bites. Now Jennifer already has a lot of piercings in her ear, which is awesome, and they look really, really good. The only thing I would say is maybe this rook right here, maybe downsizing a little bit. It could be a fresh piercing, you still need to have that length for that room for swelling, but downsizing that would give us more options to possibly fit in a doth piercing in there. That would kind of complete everything and pull it all together. Another option would be is if you downsize that rook, to add a conch piercing in there as well. So either the doth or the conch. And honestly, that's about all I'd really wanna to add to to complete this ear. Other than that, you could maybe decorate by getting little fancier rings, different colored ones, maybe upgrading to gold. A lot of nice options, but your ear looks really good. So my ultimate pick would be the doth piercing. So up next, we have Maria from Brazil. Now, looking at Maria's face, no visible piercings yet. Uh, one thing I might want to add would be a septum piercing. Um, looks like septum would be very nice and symmetrical. We could also add some nostril piercings. One on each side, maybe put some rings in there after they're healed up. Could also see angel bites. Lower, kind of down on the lips like that. There's also the possibility of a vertical labrette. You can see with that shadow on the bottom, nice pouty lip. Vertical labrette looks so good when you have that pouty lip. And another option would be an anti-eyebrow. See how one kind of going side to side there with a the little bar? That would look really nice. Now the thing about anti-eyebrows, they can reject out, so it's a high maintenance piercing. You gotta be careful, otherwise they will leave a scar. So my ultimate pick, I would have to go with vertical labrette and nostrils. Let's take a look at her ear. Now looking at her ear, already a gold piece in the single lobe down there. Maybe add a couple more lobe piercings. I can see a triple lobe piercing pretty easily. Could also add a tragus piercing. Tragus is so elegant and you can put a nice beautiful little gem there um, and not be too much. And you could also see that we could do the helix all the way up and down there. Nice ridge. Um, you could do studs or the rings. Of course, start it with the studs. And once it's all healed up, then you could put the rings in. Um, there's always the possibility of an industrial piercing. You can see how an industrial would fit real nicely, as long as it's not touching that ridge right there. Um, maybe possible vertical industrial. You can see how that kind of follow there and go right down through the conch. You have a bead maybe in the back side of the ear. So you don't see the top bead and the bar going down. Um, and last option would be the doth. You can see how you would see the entrance and exit for those doth piercings, but again, it just encapsulates the whole inside of the ear looking fantastic. My ultimate picks here would be another two lobe piercings, the doth piercing, and an industrial. And Julia is the next person we're taking a look at today. Now, Julia has glasses, which kind of eliminates a couple of options here as far as like maybe a bridge or the high nostrils, but that still does leave the septum piercing. I would say that we could possibly do the nostrils, but if the glasses fall down and hit them, it causes those bumps and no one wants those bumps. So maybe just the septum piercing. Um, another option would be a labrette piercing. You can see how labrette would fit right in that little dimple there. Super, super cute. And when it heals up, wearing the ring. 
don't start with a ring. They're real rough to heal, and they flop all over, so get a nice tight ring once it's all healed up. Um, another possibility would be... Snake bites and dahlias. Snake bites and dahlias kind of making a little bit of a spider bite with a little angle on the end. That's kind of a fun little option there. And then we could also do Medusa. I like that look. That's something different. Now, as far as other piercings go, maybe an eyebrow piercing. You fit one up there, just kind of hidden behind her hair. Still super subtle, but really cute. And as far as my ultimate picks, I would have to say dahlias and some eyebrows. Now, let's take a look at her ear. I don't see any piercings here, and I can tell you right off the bat, I love her tragus. Um, not just for a normal tragus piercing, which we could totally do, I see a vertical tragus, something I don't get to offer every single day. See how the curved barbell goes vertical and you see the bead on top and bottom? Super awesome look. Now as far as other piercings, see a conch piercing, could also see a triple helix piercing. I'm sorry, triple anti-helix piercing is what we should be saying. And you see how those go on the inside? And if you wanted to do the combination, we could also do the triple helix below it. Kind of two nice little rows going big to small. And as far as other options go, a vertical helix piercing where you have a little ball there and then the ball comes out on top so it's just a straight barbell. I would probably stay away from the doth because there's not as much room up here but you might be able to get away with a single forward helix. Now as far as my ultimate picks, I really like those six piercings up top. The three helix piercings and the anti-helix. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like. And the last person we're looking at is going to be Riss from New York. Now Riss already mentioned that they were looking at getting a vertical labret piercing and possibly some more eyebrow piercings, which I think would be really, really nice, especially the vertical labret. But if you're looking for one of my suggestions, maybe possibly adding horizontal eyebrow piercings with the vertical, which give a really unique look where it kind of follows and kind of creates little L's going around the eye. As you can see, it's a really, really fun look and changing the angles can change the look as well. Now, as far as other possibilities, totally see some high nostril piercings. Um, maybe also some angel bites out further like so um and yeah i do love the idea of the vertical brett so there's a lot more fun things we can do here and as far as my ultimate pick i agree the vertical brett and the horizontal eyebrows let's take a look at your ear now we see three piercings here automatically you see the two lobes and the one below it which you're not wearing any jewelry in there and uh, might I suggest stretching that first hole. I could definitely see this getting up to like maybe a zero with a couple of the lobes right behind it. Really, really nice look. And it's centrally pierced, so it's a good start for stretching. Now, as far as other helix piercings or cartilage piercings, I said it already, the helix would be a fun thing to do. We could hit two helix piercings up top. Um, we could also do the anti-helix, which seems to be the trend of this episode. We can hit two up there or three we could also do rook piercing looks like it's nice and thin so that should heal nice and quick if you wanted that and of course you have a really nice doth to be able to put a ring in there um there's always the possibility of a conch always a good tragus right there to pierce you have a lot of options here now as far as my ultimate picks i would say stretch the lobe and a double anti-helix so that winds it up here for today. What'd you think? Let me know in the comments. Now, if you enjoy my video, make sure you subscribe, hit the like, and of course, keep putting holes in your body. We'll see you on the next videos.